grateful to um, introduce to you Rochelle Peterson. Rochelle dedicated to the empower to the empowerment of the black American faith community regarding its participation in both the political realm and the public square for civic engagement. Her vision statement is, quote, electing women of faith for the secure future, end quote. After spending 12 years employed in local government and being the daughter of a pastor, Rochelle's desire is to make that connection between God and government. Rochelle is the author of the book, Does God Really Care About Politics, God and Government? I think it's time to go buy her book, which is a very clear and concise treatise for anyone wanting to empower themselves with a greater understanding of politics and how it relates to the kingdom of God. Rochelle is also an executive member of Frederick Douglass Foundation of California. Please help me welcome Rochelle Peterson. Just to give you a heads up, this must be on some sort of timer from the city and they forgot about it, so Rochelle's just going to have to talk a little louder and be accompanied by this wonderful music. Good afternoon, welcome. Thank you for coming. We have come here today to denounce, repudiate, and condemn the murder of more than 58 million babies in America. For too long, this rapacious beast has feasted upon the blood of our children. America's national conscience has been dehumanized by the masters of butchery and deception. It is this insidious evil called Planned Parenthood that lurks behind a mask of caring for poor minority women when in fact it's nothing more than a house of extermination. And if murder is not enough, bloody hands filled with cruelty and injustice, it offers up baby parts to the highest bidder. It then stands with an impudent brazen mouth and proclaims to all the world, it is no human being. But tell me, what can satisfy the longing of a mother's heart when she realizes it was a child so violently ripped from her womb? Who can silence the midnight cries of her pain and her guilt? What will happen when she realizes her body has been torn and abused? Who will ease her suffering and her pain? Where can she turn to find relief from her anguish and her grief? We are here today to show women a better way to declare to the world that a baby is indeed a human being entitled to the inalienable right of life. We have come to stand and declare as one that women deserve better than savage desecration at the hands of barbaric profiteers. We must remember against whom it is we fight. It's not the Cecile Richards, the Holly O'Donnells, the Melissa Ferrells, or even the Gosnells of this world. No, it is against principalities. It is against powers. It is against the rulers of the darkness of this world. It is against spiritual wickedness in high places. Just as that wicked Haman set about to destroy an entire nation, even so Planned Parenthood seeks to destroy generations of black, white, and brown babies. But like Mordecai and Esther, they proclaimed a fast and they prayed. Even so, we too must rise up. We must proclaim a fast. We must be relentless in our war rooms, bombarding the heavens with prayers, intercessions, and confessions. For out of our prayer closets, we will come with strategies to change policies and laws and to expose the works of darkness, just like David Delighton. If David called out that Goliath Planned Parenthood and struck it a mortal blow with 12 powerful stones of technology. This, it's very ironic that Planned Parenthood is in a death struggle for life. This is no time for us to relent. We must hold our elected officials accountable. We must refuse to feed the beast with our tax dollars. So as a minister of the gospel, I have come to shift the atmosphere and to shake the foundation. 
I have come as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ to proclaim life and liberty to our nation. I have come to make spiritual declarations and decrees. Now see, a decree can only be made by one who has authority. We stand here as the ambassadors of Christ, therefore we have his authority. And a declaration is simply a notice, a statement of notice. And we're here to put Planned Parenthood on notice that by the will of God, you will be shut down. Therefore, we issue this. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against David Delighton shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against him falsely shall be condemned. We decree and we declare the favor of God and his prosperity upon every state wherein a governor, a legislator, or the people have enacted laws to protect the unborn. We decree and we declare that America will elect men and women who will fear God, respect the sanctity of life, and enact righteous principles to bless our nation. We decree and we declare that those who are engaged in the taking of innocent lives, whether through finances or votes, who have no conscience, are impervious, relentless, and cruel, they will be convicted by the spirit of the living God and given an opportunity to repent. We decree and declare that all those who have suffered the trauma of abortion will be healed, mind, body, and soul. And we declare to all of you who are assembled here today, you will stand firm, you will be unmovable, unshakable, you will take up your spiritual weapons to drive back the kingdom of darkness. And every assignment of the enemy, we decree and declare, will be foiled, his snare will be broken, his plans exposed and defunded, and he will be defeated at every turn. And our final declaration, we decree and declare that babies shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. In the name of our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we speak life, we speak life, we speak life. Yeah.